Matt from behind the gloves, who's going to kick things off with a few questions for you, all right? Yeah. Hi, Ellis. Thanks for joining us. Appreciate your time. All right. Um, first off, how proud are you to be the first woman from the travelling community transitioning from amateur boxing to the professional game on such a big card? Um, obviously, in our community, it's such a big thing, um, boxing. Um, obviously, with girls, like, you don't really see many girls boxing, even in the amateurs. So for me to be the first travelling girl from our community to turn over professional, it's, it's a massive thing. And on such a big card as well, like, it's just massive. What age did you start boxing then for people who are obviously going to be tuning in this week? Um, just to let, let us all know a little bit more about you. What age did you start boxing? What made you want to get into it? Such a brutal sport. Um, yeah. Take us um, I probably started going to the gym with my dad when I was about eight, nine. Um, I used to dance for my mum, but she uh, she had a dance school. She kicked me out for fighting. She told me to go to the boxing gym with my dad. And I never left for it. I had my first bout when I was 12. Um, 20 now, so been I've been competing for about eight years. Um, the travelling community have got some very prominent figures in boxing. Um, recently, we've seen, obviously, Billy Joe Saunders go against pound-for-pound pound King Canelo Alvarez, um, Tyson Fury. The list goes on and on, and there's so many good young travelling fighters coming through. Um, are any of these sort of figures someone, somewhat of an inspiration to you when you're looking at where you want to go throughout your career? Yeah, of course. Obviously, Tyson Fury is a big inspiration. Like, Obviously, he was world champion, then he lost it all. Mm -hmm. um, and then he's come back and he's world champion again like you can't get no better inspiration than that obviously Billy Joe he's been there he's done it obviously he had a loss at the weekend but with an injury like that like I thought he was beating him up until then yeah so yeah they're all they're all big inspirations um I say women's boxing, but it's absolutely booming at the minute. Um, we've seen potentially another fight of the year candidate in Katie Taylor versus Natasha Jonas. We had fight camp last year, which saw, um, again, Jonas and Harper, and we've just seen Bridges and Courtney. Um, very, very good fights. How? Who? Is there any? Is there any particular female boxer who you look at? Obviously, we've got Katie Taylor, who's sort of top of the pile at the minute. There's Clarissa Shields; she's making big noise. Savannah Marshall. Is there any one of these particular ladies who you look up to as a, maybe a role model or anything like that? Um, I think obviously everyone just looks up to Katie Taylor, don't they? Like she is the best of the best. Like she's done it all, amateurs and pros. So, mm -hmm. um, I like Savannah Marshall's style. Um. Terry Harper, Natasha Jonas, all people like that. They're all people to look up to. For people tuning in Saturday night, what can they expect from you? What um, What's your sort of fighting style? Are you someone who's going to go out there and, you know, we know women's boxing is exciting anyway because of the rounds, but do you, are you just going to go out there and let your hands go and bang or are you going to box and move? What's your fighting style? The fighting style, it's probably to box and move, like quite technical, but I can fight when I need to, so... We'll just see what happens on the night. Brilliant. Well, Ellis, thanks for talking to Behind the Gloves. Wish you all the best for your professional debut. And yeah, hopefully we'll have another chat again. Yes, thanks for having me on. No problem. Okay, we go to James Lockton from Pro Boxing Fans next. Hi, Ellis, how you doing? So you all right? Yeah, good to talk. Um, obviously, you mentioned earlier, um, travelling community and boxing, I go hand in hand. Um, for yourself, why do you feel that um, before, say, the last sort of 10, 15 years, travellers haven't really come through and been world champions. I think Andy Lee was the first travelling world champion. Why do you think it's only now that travellers are going into the um, and went into professional ranks? Um, compared to, like, the amateurs, like, when you go to the, the schoolboy championships, the junior championships, the youth, there's hundreds and hundreds of champions. Like, there's travellers in near enough every bout. Like, obviously, with travellers, they get married young and sort of boxing goes out the window and there's not many that actually turn over to go professional, so... I think that's one of the big reasons why a lot don't turn over because obviously they get married young and stuff like that. And for yourself, you mentioned you went in the gym obviously very young. Um, your first bout, I think you said you was 12 years old. Did you know straight away you wanted to make a career out of boxing or when was the turning point for you to turn pro or make a career out of it? Um, from about 12 to 15, like I was 
in and out the gym all the time. Like I was always in the gym, but like it was never like I took it seriously until I was about 15. And since 15, I don't think I've really had more than a couple of weeks out of the gym. So you say you didn't take it serious till 15. Did the did the buzz of winning change for you at that point when you took it more serious? Um, I had won all my fights up until then. Um, I think it was just a kind of, you're getting older, the opponents are getting better, like you've got to take it more seriously with your weight and your diet and stuff like that. And for yourself, what was it like as an amateur to, you know, get, you know not only sparring, but also to get fights? And it's also the women's side, I think, especially the amateur level, it's not massive. There's no real depth. I know you can fight, I think, there's a year, you can fight a year older, a year younger, things like that. But for yourself, was it always a struggle to get fights? Yeah, it was always hard to get um, fights, especially because it's got to be within a year, um, within two kilo of your weight. Um, it was really hard to get fights, especially when you got to a certain level. There was... You're always fighting your mates off England and stuff like that. Luckily, my dad, he took me all over the world, like, to box cups and tournaments. Like, he was always, we were just getting fights wherever we could. Like, if there was a box cup on, we was going just to get a fight. Like, we went everywhere. Was it ever frustrating for you to, you know, when you struggled to get fights? Did you ever think about, do you know what, packing it in? No, I mean, I, I was quite, I was quite lucky. I got a lot of fights. I had 40 amateur fights. So, I did, I, I did, I was quite busy, so. It was, it wasn't that bad. And um, was now the right time for you to turn professional? Um, I, I always knew I wanted to turn professional. Like I didn't like going to the Olympics didn't bother me, but I always knew I wanted to turn professional and win a world title, and that's what I've always wanted to do. So, I think my style is more suited to a pro game, the pro game. So, we decided to turn over. And you mentioned you always wanted a world title. Um, there isn't a great deal of depth in women's divisions at the moment. Um, it is building and it is expanding. But we've seen recently, for example, Shannon Courtney and Ebony Bridges fight for world title. I think between mm -hmm. them, about 11 fights. For yourself, what's the plan? How long until you want a world title? Um, obviously, I, I, I'm still a baby in the game. I'm only 20, so I've got time on my side. But hopefully I'll get four or five fights this year real quick, straight after in each other. And then we can start looking at titles next year. And obviously, you're making your debut this weekend on pretty short notice. You only got announced a few days ago now. What was it like when you got that call to say you're making your debut, you're on Matchroom, on Sky Sports? <clears throat> um, we were just ready, yeah, excited. We just took it with both hands. Like, the last year, we've just been waiting and we've had five different dates cancelled on us. I've been, been in five different camps. Like, it's just been, like, so frustrating waiting and then getting cancelled on. So when the opportunity came, we just took it away from us. And obviously we've seen in the women's side of things, we've seen Katie Taylor, we've seen Tasha Jonas, Terry Harper, Ellie Scottney now coming through, you know, all good quality. And they're all straight away immediately role models to the next generation. Mm -hmm. For yourself, do, do you want to be a role model for the next generation coming through? And also to the young girls in the traffic community as well? Yeah, I mean, I, I hope I can inspire some other traveling girls like to get in the gym, go like actually do what they want to do instead of listening to everyone else, like don't do it, you're a girl, you shouldn't be boxing and stuff like that. Like I hope a lot there's obviously there is a quite a few traveller girls now in the amateurs. I hope they all turn over as well, like be good for the community. You mentioned that, you know, people say you shouldn't do it, you're a girl, you shouldn't be boxing, you should be fighting. What would your advice be to them or what would you say back to those calls? If you want to do something, go and do it. Like don't listen to other people. Do what you want to do. And the last one, I know earlier on mentioned to Matt about inspirations. I mentioned Tyson Fury and Katie Taylor. We'll see Tyson from the travel community, Katie Taylor from the women's boxing. Who's the bigger inspiration for you and why? Um, probably Tyson Fury, really, from just what he's done, where he's been, and how he's come back from everything. Hey Fight Fans, it's Michelle Joy Phelps. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, make sure you do so by clicking this icon right here or else.